Hi everybody, this is Beth Friedman Rommel, Adaptive Theater Specialist and Music Therapist for the Beck Center for the Arts. And I have another uh, installment in my series on homemade musical instruments. And today we're going to talk about playing the spoons. I have these ordinary metal teaspoons here. And this is a very simple, traditional American instrument. Um, very popular in folk music and roots music. And they are meant to sound kind of like castanets. All right, so it looks simple. It's pretty simple, um, but like anything else in music, it takes practice. So one thing I discovered was if you have a nice pair of sturdy plastic spoons, they sound just as good and they're a lot easier to play, a lot easier on your hand. So I just learned how to do this very recently and the person who helped me learn how to do this is a musician named Dave Rutch, D-A-V-E-R-U-C-H, that's one word, dot com. You can go to his website and watch lots of spoon playing videos. And um, that's how I learned. And I'm going to share what I learned with you today right now. You basically kind of nice, have a nice grip on the top spoon like that. And then... You put the other spoon upside down and the next finger over. So you're holding them kind of like that. And you just adjust them till they bounce off each other. And it takes a little practice to get, get that right feeling. There you go. Just make a click. And you see if I'm changing the shape of my hand, it changes the shape of the sound. All right. So... Once you've got that grip going and keep adjusting it and if it falls out of your hand, just pick it up and try it again. And then the next step is to kind of tap it against your leg. Very nice. So one traditional way to play the spoons is to hold one hand about here and rock them back and forth between your hand and your leg. So, this is a nice, even, steady 4-4 four, four beat. And then, you can speed up. Another trick is to vary where you're hitting on your leg to change the sound. So, Top, side, top, side, top, side. And finally, uh, the next kind of Spoons 101 move is to slide it along your fingers. And keep your fingers real stiff. Sounds like a drum roll. And, you know, you can make up any kind of rhythm, any kind of beat you want. Um, I thought I could demonstrate with a traditional folk song. This is Turkey in the Straw. And if you want to pause the video, get some spoons and practice for a while and come back, then we can play Turkey in the Straw together. So this is the Tennessee Mafia Jug Band playing Turkey in the Straw. Let's just get a basic beat.
you can hit it with other parts of your body. some mistakes so what um also be a little gentle on your hands if you do this for too long you might get a little sore or a little blister uh final thing before i set you loose in the spoon world i really strongly recommend you check out in addition to dave rutch um someone called abby the spoon lady um she was born abby roach but she goes by abby the spoon lady she's a marvelous street performer you should check out her YouTube videos because she is a spoon virtuosa. So I hope you had fun with this and I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>